I've switched out to my regular presser foot on my sewing machine for this. And there's two ways you can do this. You can sew with the front of your quilt down on the bed of the machine and stitch right along the edge, just top stitch. But that results in a seam line going all around your quilt, which is fine. Just make sure to use um, matching thread to the front of your quilt. But I prefer most of the time to stitch in the ditch from the front. So stitch in the ditch means you're stitching right in that seam. So I'm gonna put the back of my quilt on the bed of my machine and stitch right in here. And we should be okay to catch this on the back even though we're working blind um, because we have covered that seam with our fold. So if we stitch right on that seam that we already did, we will catch the back. So just put your needle right down into that seam and start sewing. When we get to the corner, we're gonna stop with our needle down and pivot the quilt. Just check and make sure everything's working, okay. Stop right with our needle down right in the corner, lift our presser foot, turn the quilt, put the presser foot back down and keep sewing. And I'm just going to check that I caught my corner. Yes, I did. So again, stop with your needle right in the corner and turn your quilt and put your presser foot back down. So I'm gonna keep going around the quilt, but I just wanna show you the corner. You can see here my stitch line right here. And from the front, it looks just like a hand-bound quilt. Okay, so here's the quilt all finished. I'm just gonna go through it one more time to check for any loose threads. This one's gonna be donated to charity, but I just wanted to give you a closer look at this uh, binding. Here's my label. So that's machine binding. Pretty simple. Okay, I've made a little mug rug here for the purposes of this demonstration. So what you need for hand binding is thread. I'm using Orfil 2600 here. Uh, these are the binding needles that I use. And then little embroidery scissors and a thimble. And you're really going to need a thimble, especially if you're doing a, a larger quilt. Um, your finger will be very sore in no time at all. <laughs> so I've got the binding on the front. And I always start in the middle of a side. So you just tuck your quilt top up into the binding and cover that seam like we did before. And then... I'm left-handed. If you're right-handed, you'll be going counterclockwise around your quilt top, but I'm going clockwise. You just 
stick your needle in right at the edge of your binding and, and travel under the binding through the um, quilt backing and batting, but not out through the front, okay? And then you just come up right near the edge and then come down right in front of where you came up, just off the edge of the binding, and then travel underneath again. So then you have this little stitch right here. So you do that again, just go into the back of the quilt, right below where you came up on the binding, Travel underneath and come back up. And check every once in a while that you're not popping through onto the front. So you don't want these stray little stitches showing up on the front of your quilt. So this is a good thing to do if you're sitting watching a movie or you're watching a long sports event or you're just having a quiet Sunday afternoon. It usually takes me about four hours to hand bind a lap quilt. And I find actually it goes faster if I'm not watching a movie. <laughs> because I keep looking up to watch the movie and then it takes even longer than four hours, but. Okay, so when you get to the corner, it's the same as when we were folding down with the binding clips or the wonder clips. So you're gonna keep this edge folded down and then flip this edge down so that you have a mitered corner. And then I usually, come in and take a stitch right there at the bottom and then travel under in the binding to the middle and take another stitch coming back down. Just to secure that corner. And then just turn your quilt and start going down the next side. So I came out right here from that little stitch up there. And I haven't come through on the front. And so I'm gonna travel through the binding, or sorry, through the batting, and just keep going down the next side. And that's how you hand bind a quilt. Okay, that's the end of our fourth video, and this is the last video in our four-part series on making the frog pond quilt. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel because we'll be going through another free quilt pattern very soon. So make sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss when we do another sew along. Okay, have a good day. Happy quilting.